Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fairy Fencer F. My name is Snow, if you're just joining us right now, then what is wrong with you? Go back and start from the very beginning. Okay, first, the wind's ending before anything else. And some power in. Okay then. Um... Today's dessert is a chiffon huh. cake flavored with tea, black sesame seeds, and vanilla milk. But I hope you enjoy the flavor. That's a cute apron, but you might want to get rid of the chain to kind of clash in a weird way. Those two earrings that are like on the top of your ear don't really help either. Whoa! This was tasty! Thanks for the grub! Unless that's what you're going for. Huh. Maybe. Hey! Don't touch it with your hands! Apologize to that fluffy chiffon cake! Ow! Don't be so nitpicky! Your wings are gonna get wrinkles! Huh. You know, I haven't really examined many fairy wings before. Most of because fairies are just so touchy about them, and those that have wings, because not all fairies have wings, because of course that makes sense. But, um, they don't look like they could wrinkle from... Wor Actually, how does worry make you wrinkle? I've never really found that out. Actually, I never really wondered that either. Huh. This bears investigation, but not now. No, I won't! <laughs> I agree. Using your hands is uncivilized. You should get on your knees, bow your head, and apologize to that cake. Oh, you girls. No way! You're just gonna eat my portion while I'm kneeling. That is something you would do, not me. Do you even know what kneeling signifies? Aaron, please demonstrate for Fang. Oh, burn. Why should I? You do it. Come on, get on your knees. Rich girls are used to seeing their servants grovel on the floor, right? Uh, uh that's not a very good burn. Oh my, I apologize, Aaron. I just assumed kneeling on the floor was reserved for the dregs of society, such as yourself. Served. Hey, what's your family like anyway, Tara? Are you a noble or maybe some kind of royalty? Took this long for someone to ask. With the way she asked, with the way she asked. You'd think somebody would have brought this topic up sooner. Now that you mention it, Galdo, Tiara hasn't really said much about her past. Likewise. But if you truly wish to know, I can indulge your curiosity. I was born into a royal family somewhere in this country, and doted on by tens of thousands of servants. Okay, yeah, I I'm gonna call shenanigans here. There's no way that's true. <sighs> okay. If she was royalty, or born to a royal family, apparently there's a difference, I don't understand, but whatever. If she really was born to a royal family, there's no way she'd have a relative who runs an inn. I mean, it's not, it's a nice looking inn, but... Uh, if it, she'd have, this Miss Five Star would have to be an extremely distant relative for it to make sense, for this to make sense. I think that family of royalty would... I don't know, it'd be have a higher stature in society, you think? And they wouldn't be a foreign nation, because... It's... Uh, wait, no, this country. There's not a foreign country. Yeah, this is even worse. They're working at, They're working in inn in a country where they have royal family in, and it's confusing. And not only that, but if she really was part of the Fisk family's royalty, then she wouldn't be out here alone, which she was before she met Fang. She would have... So many bodyguards, Fang would, would never have even gotten close to her. So yeah, I'm calling shenanigans. The only way this makes sense is if, it's, if her entire family is dead. Huh. And then there's the thing about her being the reincarnation, the mortal incarnation of the goddess, which hasn't been confirmed, but I'm pretty sure it's the truth, and... Okay, this is getting dark. Let's move on. Understand? My station is completely different from your own. How many is tens of thousands? Where is somewhere? I cannot divulge that information. It would be dreadful if you suddenly kidnapped me and demanded a ransom from my family. Oh, well, don't give him ideas. Yeah, you caught me. You were really planning to do that? Man, you're the worst. Remember, Fang. We've already collected some furies, but I'm still missing most of my memories. Don't forget that we're still in the middle of an adventure. If you let yourself get distracted, some other fencer will come along and defeat you. Shut up, I already know that. 
Okay, let's get this out of the way. Proper hygiene, what's this? Uh... <laughs> oh, don't worry, Aaron. Hands get clean when you take a bath. I swear that people do this on purpose. If it, it's what explains all of this, this wacky shenanigans. I'm starting to wonder if these conversations have any real relevance. They're too short to provide character insights, and they don't seem to contribute much except... Actually, not really much. Huh. Oh yeah, I got a B-Rank last time! B-Rank Fairy. So I can start Goldie Revival again. But ba what do we got here? Post battle SP? Huh. SP cost down. Uh, let's go with this. Go away. Wait, that's what. Yeah! Alright, awesome! Alright, see what we got here? Let's make this interesting. And it's another robot. Oh, Holy cow! Holy cow! 35? My turn. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! Alright, what's the, uh... Alright, let's... Try that again! Let's make this interesting. It's even worse now! Let's do this. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna come back to this. I'm a, I'm gonna do this later. This is ridiculous. Alright. Oh jeez! Here <laughs> look at these levels! I am nowhere near ready for that. Holy cow! That's insane! But that's completely insane. Oh, my favorite customers! Long time no see! Is your wallet just as excited as I am? Aw, oh, Lola, you're so cute. I'm offering some really yummy info at this price today. Wanna throw down some cash? Who's that precious little merchant girl? Yes, it's a different Lola. This time, it said the Zawaza Plains, but I hear the Dorfa Corporation is looking to get their mitts on that fury. The Dorfa Corporation? Are you certain? Yep, yep. Plus, the search is being led by an extremely powerful fencer named Apollonius. Apollonius? Where have I heard that name before? I know I've heard that name before somewhere. No way! Did you say Apollonius? Now, I know it's not... I'm not thinking of Apollo because... I know for a fact the reason why that name is stands out because it sounds like Apollo, but no, I've heard Apollonius somewhere. You know this guy, Galdo? Apollonius is the same rank as Zenk. He's one of Dorfa's four heavenly czars. Dorfa? Didn't they throw that hmm. awesome party? You're saying Zenk and this Apolloni guy worked for that corporation? Where have I heard that name before? Corporations in the world. Oh, this is bugging me so much. And many community projects. They also have a vast network of business connections. That's right. The Dorfa Corporation is ranked among the top three companies that people most desire to work for. So those rumors about Dorfa investing a lot of money and manpower into collecting the Furies were true. If they're really competing with us for the Furies, things might get a little dicey. Yep. And if Apollonius is running things, that's even worse for us, eh? That guy is no slouch when it comes to swordplay. Do you know him, Galdo? Not directly, but when it comes hmm. to armed combat, I know that Apollonius is Dorfa's number one fencer. God, it keeps saying it and it keeps bugging you. Where have I heard Apollonius before? He's stronger than Zank, huh? So, if I defeat him, that'll make me Dorfa's number one fencer. You're not a fencer of Dorfa, so I don't think it works that way. 
<laughs> I've just come up with an ingenious plan. Prepare to be amazed. Yeah, I'm, pre I'm prepared for disappointment and or hilarity. If I defeat two of Dwarf's heavenly czars, they'll fall short on labor, so they'll have to hire me instead. Nice plan, huh? Yeah. What? Not that stupid. Think about it. Dwarf is a huge corporation. If I work for them, I'll never have to worry about money or food again. You idiot. There's no way the world famous Dwarf Corporation would hire a no good lazy vendor like you. Do you even have what it takes to work a regular job? You'd have to wake up early every morning, you know. I, I didn't think that far ahead. Never mind. I take it all back. Oh. That's all it takes to make you give up your plan. Anyway, let's go look for that fury. Brace yourselves, everyone. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna bother talking to those people. Okay, let's see. It's there. Okay. So over here. And, oh, wait, wait, uh... Let's get this first. Okay. Then... Quip. Uh. Alright, let's go with that. And boom. So, cutscene, let's see what happens. Oh, this is the Zawaza Plains. Looks like there's no sign of Dorfa anywhere. I can't even smell them. What would they even smell like? It's not like they wear cologne or anything. Let's keep moving forward. Alright, now let's see. Oh, more. I've been waiting for this. Come get some. This is friggin' annoying. So wait, they just charge us? Like... Let's do this. Oh, assassins! Well, <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Uh, Alright, yeah, um, back to the story. So, um, I believe. Ah, oh, jeez, what are you missing? You have a gun, you should have high accuracy. It's, whatever. Yeah, so. I had just skipped over the part where we I explained. Why I assumed Marie had stolen Ersil's soul, and I s also they explained to me that she's in fact a mermaid. Uh, what else was? Oh yeah, um, she was nervous about other people finding out about her being a mermaid because apparently something I think it was mermaid tears or maybe their scales were a uh, powerful alchemical regent. And I don't, I'm not, I don't use alchemy. I'm not Sid, so. Yeah, I, plus taking a living creature, capable of thinking, feeling, and reasoning. I'm even stronger. So for now. a creature like that, just make holding them captive to harvest them for alchemical regions is pretty horrible. <laughs> I've become stronger. So yeah. Looks like I got stronger. Oh wow. Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone levels up. Alright, now let's check... Uh, okay, Informant Lola. Alright, let's go back to talk to Lola. Why is, why is it ha wait for me to... to get inside the dungeon first before that happens? Alright, Bree Valley, that's what I was expecting. As I master at pattern recognition. All right, so oh, wrong button. Okay, got out of the way. It's A. Dang it! <sighs> Unbelievable. I, why does this keep mixing? Why does this keep getting me messed up? Let's do this. Well, whatever. So and after the awkward exposition was out of the way, um. Well, I managed to convince her that I wasn't gonna capture her or even sell her off or anything. I wasn't. I had no ill intentions. And well, she calmed down after that. 
Apparently she had been separated from her family a while ago, and had no idea where they were. And she was hiding out on the beach, which... Oh wait, no wait, I remember now, there was a nearby cave where she was hiding out. But she needed to leave occasionally to get food, which... I believe sea- yeah, it was seaweed. She could eat seaweed. That that's why she was on the beach. There was seaweed on the beach. I remember that now. Ah. I really need to start like going over again what happened before I start telling these stories. Ah. Ah, just, why always him? Boy, I can't get over how funny that sounds. <clears throat> So yeah, our vacation had suddenly turned into an adventure, which I blame on the stand, on the stand curse. Cause this is this is the kind of stuff that happens when you got a stand. Not even vacations can be vacations. It was fun at first, but by this point, it was just kind of tedious. Okay, is it over here? It is. Keepers. Not sure what I'm gonna do with all that stuff, but I'll still take it. So now that we were basically just gonna try to help Marine find her family. And we had basically nothing but their descriptions to go on. So yeah. Oh, also, we. Wasn't a good idea to spread the word that we were looking for a mermaid's family because. Of reasons that you can probably figure out yourself. So yeah, we were. Airsil was. She was all for just jumping in to help her, but and while I wasn't against helping someone find our family, I realized that we don't know what we're doing. We don't know where to start. But I couldn't really say no, or even just say you know what, or even say anything like. It's gonna be hard, we don't even know where to begin. I don't really know any... None of my magic is suited for, you know, gathering information. Oh, well, my stand can double as a two-way radio or a bug, so... But other than that, which wouldn't really... AGAIN! Really? Ah, oh, this is annoying. Okay, my god. But yeah, other than that, I didn't really have much to work with. And Aerosol didn't have any kind of information gathering abilities, so yeah. Uh, Alright, it's punches. So while Aerosol and Marine were, well, well, I mean, why Mar while Aerosol was reassuring Marine that we'd find her parents, her family, I mean, I was busy worried how we were going to do that. We weren't prepared for this at all, which... New data. I might have already mentioned, like, you know, a few seconds ago, but I really want to get to the cross. We didn't have any way to find them, so... <clears throat> really, the best we could do is just... I've become stronger. Look manually. Which isn't really effective, but it's the best we had. Oh. Persists after battle. That's pesky. Whew. Excuse me. But yeah. So. Oh. Okay, she got that. So what I decided to do was to just look around the. look across the beach for. Some kind of clue. New data. Now, normally that would have been ruled out immediately because sh Marine should have done that already, but she was understandably a little too worried about, you know, leaving her or safety of her little underwater cave for anything other than getting food. Which, okay, I can understand that. She's pretty defenseless and attempting target for a lot of people looking to make a quick buck. So yeah. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, okay, it still works. Never mind. So yeah, it's understandable that she didn't really do any searching on herself. By yourself. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm babbling. 
Again! So annoying. <clears throat> so yeah, this search took up the remain the rest of our planned vacation outs, which Well, I I wasn't as surprised as I should have no Yeah, I wasn't really as surprised as I really should have been because a party was expecting something like this, so the beach itself was pretty was pretty large, but there was only a small portion of it that was really relegated towards uh, vacationers. So wait, what's the map button again? That's it. Okay. So what we did is we just okay. We were all, also this section that that was for tourists. It was oh god, dang it! Well, at least I'm just always that. Okay, so this part of the beach that was really good to tourists was in the middle of the entire beach. Well, should I say beach, but most of it was really rocky stuff. It was, it was also the largest portion of the beach that was made of sand. So Marine was... Mm, not positive, but relatively sure that her family would be somewhere along the coast. So we had to search around the coast, with Aristotle and myself really being more chaperones for Marie than anything else. A sort of cover for her. And it, it took a while. It took a long while. For the first few days, well, we, we, made, we covered some ground pretty well. The first few days were extremely uneventful. We checked, we first decided to check the south side because coin flip. There's a coin flip. There's, we didn't have anything going, so really, the only value is a coin flip. And I think it took us about, um, yeah, three days. Three days to cover the south side. Which was, it was pretty picturesque, but also extremely boring. Not done yet. Uh, even though I couldn't help but feeling, couldn't help but feel bad for the poor girl. She was pretty excited when we started out, but as time went, what? Oh wait, that's confusion, right? I remember that now. Uh, okay, I can. All right, I got this. I got this. Oops. That was wrong. That wasn't right. Okay, so. I don't have anything that can fix confusion. I can't do anything. Wait, item. So we have anything that can. No. Huh. Well, this sucks. I guess like I'm, all I can do is just try to kill him. So yeah, um, as the days went on without any results of any kind, she was she was trying to hide it, but I could visibly see her getting more and more forlorn and oh, losing hope. Oh jeez, she got hit pretty bad. So we covered the entire south uh, coast in about three days and. Well, she was pretty depressed looking. She was doing her best to hide it, as I said, but for much. It was a little worse. She thanked Air Sound me for helping, but. She said that she was starting to doubt if her family really was on the coast and if she really would find them again. Air Sound, uh, being her father's daughter, uh, she didn't really put up with that. She gave her a slap and just shook her shoulders and said, Don't give up! We still have half of the beach to go! And gave a really rousing speech that, for the life of me, I can't remember. Even though I remember being really proud of her. Ah. I was pretty tired at the time. Since I was the one who who was on watch most of the time during night to uh, ensure that nobody snuck up on us, so I had the least amount of sleep. Ah, oh, jeez, maybe... Maybe 
game wasn't as inspirational as I thought, I was half asleep. Which, now that I think about it, was not a very smart thing. I should've... I'm sure I've had more rest. Ah, hindsight. So, we made our way back to the middle, uh, the, the, the beach area the, for tourists, and started searching the north side. Well, we weren't just searching the wrong coast. Uh, Marine was also looking through any kind of underwater structures or caves or whatever. So, yeah. We had just about, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Oops, I almost forgot. Yeah, that's the right one. So, it was about, um... Hmm... The north side was larger than the south side. I remember that much. I think... Yeah, I think it was... It was uh, four and a half days, and we started at night, and we ended at, um, it was at the afternoon, huh, so that's a thing too. But yeah, keeping track of time when it was so long though, it's kind of difficult, so bear with me. Alright, so there we go. I need to get more levels. I'll kill these guys too. Here I come. Let's do this. Huh. So on um, well, the last day, because yeah. I've already forgotten what I said you the time that. was, and Fire. I'm not gonna try and mentally map it out again. So the last day we finally came across huh. her family. Yeah. And it was yet. a really tearful reunion. Yeah. They thanked yeah. us. Uh, before we, on a, we went on our way, a Marine gave a little shining jewel to Aracilla's thanks for everything she did. I'll get into that later, because it's a little bit too much to explain right now. Well, not really, but I want to try to not get off too much off topic. Let's... I'm already bad enough about getting off topic and going on tangents. Let's try to keep things a little cohesive. Okay, go for these guys first because they can paralyze. Oh wait, yeah, these bears can confuse. Ah, oh, this is all not so fun. Oh boy, I forgot about that. Oh well, nothing can do about it now. So, um... By the time we found our family again, we had pretty much spent all the time we had for a big- Well, cause... I couldn't spend too much time out of the city. Because... My paycheck was basically for being an on-call physician. Well, on-call white... White magic user. Or white mage- I was just a white mage back then. So yeah, I- We had about, um... Hmm... I think it was a little over a week. I think maybe nine days. Maybe it was nine days. Or maybe ten. Whatever. We had spent up all the time we had. I had relegated for vacation. We needed. I think a day to get back to the city. So we kind of had to leave after that. Looks like I got stronger. Should level already? Oh wait, no. Okay. Um... Okay... Um, this one gives bonus XP, so we should probably equip something else. I don't want her to get- her to, her level to get too, too high, or higher than everyone else. Uh, this is- wait, actually? Yeah, let's just go with this guy. Don't think it matters all that much. Um, well, actually, I got a bit of time, so I might as well get into that gem. Right now. Huh. Convenient how that works out. And I probably should have healed, but whatever. So, yeah, the. Oh, wait, actually, no, I should be fine. So, the gem she gave. The Marine gave to Aerosol was a sea stone. A nice little. Tr a nice little trinket. 
we when we finally, when I finally got back to when I finally got back to Ark, I <clears throat> excuse me, I had Sid turn it into no, not Sid, Phyllis. Ah, Sid doesn't work with Julia. Hi. Okay, my bad. So sorry, Sid and Phyllis. Okay, but wait, yeah, fair right first. I'll never get over that! I mean, I realize there's magic shenanigans when I keep that from being damaging, but still. I'll never get over that! So, I had. Phyllis! Phyllis, not Sid. I had Phyllis turn it into a necklace. Because. She's pretty good with jewelry. It turns out to be a pretty handy thing when you when you're using alchemy. You can make alchemical stone. You can make alchemical stone jewelry, which you can do some pretty terrifying things with those things, like exploding rings, which isn't as expensive as it sounds. Exploding jewelry is pretty terrifying, especially when it. Uh, there's all kinds of bizarre explosions you can make with jewelry. It's huh. this bloodshed. I never had one of those used on me before. So anyway, it's a stone that channels the power of the ocean itself. Um, I'm not entirely sure why a mermaid had one on her. But yeah, it's basically a folk art. A focus for magic that works best when using for channeling yeah. en magical energies of water and oceans and stuff. Holy cow! You are almost dead, woman. And actually, yeah, this should this should finish you. Yeah, all right. Awesome. But wow, that was close. A C rank, huh? Odd. Probably get another B rank. Yeah, well. Um, I get cure yourself. And let's rush out of here. Wait, actually, I think I remember seeing. Yeah, backtrack, huh? Does anyone else have this spell? No. No. Oh, you do! Awesome! Can I... Is that enough? Yes, it is. Awesome! Oh, we know it's cured too, that's nice. Well, anyway, that's a nice place to stop off for now, so everyone, my name's Snow, and I am signing off.